Aloha everyone, it's Kona Raven and I am finally back. Um, it took me a while for those of you that know I moved from England to Texas and then from temp housing to the new house. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, you saw the disaster zone that was my craft room. But I finally managed to clean it up and I'm happy to say I finally finished a project. So this first project is a six by six cardstock mini. The gorgeous paper collection that I used was by Marion Smith and it is her garment district paper collection. I used three packs of 24 papers each and I still didn't have enough to do any of the outer pocket photo mats. So although you could put outer pocket photo mats on these three pages, um, I didn't have enough paper to cover them using three packs of paper. So if I had probably used the eight by like a, a bigger collection to create recreate this mini album, I'm certain that uh, like two or three packs of the eight by eight, I would have been able to. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the mini album. So as you can see, I embellished the front cover with some lace and this is some velvet ribbon that I got on uh, a ribbon grill when I was in the UK. So I'm starting to use my UK stash. Uh, this right here is a Brad and I got that from uh, Prima. This has a two inch spine and the charms that you see here, uh, they are by Bead Landing and this is part of their Pemberley collection. And I thought it was adorably appropriate for the Garment District uh, paper collection. And then there is the back. As usual, I do like to use a ribbon closure. Uh, it just allows you to pull it tight or you know, allow your mini album to expand if you need to. All right, so without further ado, let's take a look on the inside. All right, so this mini album is eight pages and that includes the back cover and the front cover. So let's look at the first page, the front cover. This swing tab and this swing tab, um, they were punched out using a Tim Holtz big die. It's his tiny tabs and tags. Uh, it is so convenient. It punches right through uh, heavyweight chipboard. So uh, it's great for, for swing tabs. So anyway, here's a swing tab that swings out. This opens up. You have plenty of room for photos on the inside. And then this flap is magnetic, and that opens up to the side. You have space for photo here and here, and then here's some places for journaling. Uh, speaking about magnets, you can find the magnets that I use. They're disc magnets. They're super strong. You can find those in my Etsy shop. All right. Uh, they ship USPS, and they can be to you within three to five days. So the next page, page two, another swing tab, that swings out, this opens up, and then this flips down. Here's another magnetic flap that opens up. You can do some journaling here, or put a photo. And here's a small outer pocket with a photo mat. So I put paper on one side so that you can mat a photo and I left the other side blank so that you could journal. And again, this is from Tim Holtz Tiny Tabs and Tag Collection. And I figured I'd leave it open on this side so that you could slide a date in or anything that you wanted to, uh, like a title or something. And then this opens up and you have space for photos on the interior. All right, on the next page, here is another swing tab that opens up. This folds out. This also folds out. You have space for photos on the interior here. Another magnetic flap that opens up. And then here is another pocket with tag. Again, same thing, paper on one side and then you could journal on the back side. And this opens up, you have space for photos here. And then this flap 
opens up this direction and you have plenty of space for photos on the interior. All right, on this page, this whole envelope piece is actually a pocket. So here's a nice big photo mat on the top side. Again, same thing. And then here is a swing tab that folds down. This folds up. Uh, this folds down. And then this folds to the left. This folds to the right. Here is a on-page pocket with a swing tab. So this opens up here and then there's a good size photo mat here. And then this is a magnetic closure that opens up there. This flips to the left. You have space for photos here. You could actually put a photo on this pocket and then put a photo on the photo mat on the interior. This is actually a magnetic flap also that folds out to the side. And then this whole piece folds up. And then this envelope closure piece is actually just a pocket that you could put more photos in. Um, it's kind of a, a nice little deep pocket so that you could fit photos, a few photos in here. Because sometimes it's not always about putting it on photo mats. Sometimes it's just nice to have photos stuck in here that you have access to. Uh, here is a magnetic uh, pocket so that you know, there's a photo mat on the inside. You could put a photo here too. And then this piece, whole piece, opens up to the side there. And of course there's two swing tabs. Swing out and it opens up to one side and then it opens up this way as well. So you have plenty of space for photos. All right. On the next page, here is a photo mat. It folds out. And then another photo mat flap that folds out. And then on the interior, this folds to the left and this piece folds out to the right. Plenty of space for photos here. And then it's magnetic. It also folds out to the left. All right, on my back cover and on the final page, I have a waterfall. So this is a magnetic flap or closure, I should say, magnetic closure. And then I just have these good size waterfalls here. One, two, and then I have again a nice little pocket that you can stick photos in. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this mini album. I certainly enjoyed creating it for you. Again, it's a six by six inch cardstock mini. If you're interested in purchasing the mini album itself, it's gonna be in my Etsy shop. If you're interested in purchasing the tutorial to create it for yourself, it's under the tutorial section of my Etsy shop. So if you're a new subscriber, I would love for you to follow me. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, I wanna thank you so much for your patience with me and for sticking it out for the long haul. Um, I really enjoyed creating this. I missed doing this for you. I hope to do a heck of a lot more in the future. Thank you so much. Aloha.